He say, she say, we say, I say Hearing out them poison views when I see it my way Yes it knows, yes it knows, maybe so, probably not that's right, straight out of Detroit. Hey, everyone, this is your girl, Spinfire, coming at you with another one. Okay, so we're going to be talking about some things. We're going to be talking about an update on what happened. So if you haven't seen my video the other day, uh, Gabrielle Union did an interview, and she insinuated that little Boosie uh, may like Dick and may need to come out the closet, considering the fact that he is speaking um, her son, daughter, name out of his mouth. And spoken on Little X, which is what the uh, interviewer chimed in and said and things of that nature. So Little Boosie had clapped back on his Twitter and he said some things, paraphrasing, but he said some things like, no, I like women. I love women. Your husband is the one that like dick. And y'all play with dildos or something, something of that nature. Anyways, you know, look at my other video and you would definitely see what exactly what it is. He said, however, Corey Holcomb has chimed in and, and, and put his input on it. On the 5150. Now, one of the things, well, actually, we're going to listen to Corey Holcomb, and then I'm going to come back and tell you what I believe, okay? So let's take a listen. Fair use. Gay as a response for parading a little boy around that's dressed like a girl, Gabrielle. Gabrielle, let me tell you this. Your son dresses like a girl, and y'all mm. give it your blessing. That's going to make people say things. Why are you acting like somebody is attacking you when you have sacrificed your child for the internet? The little boy all over the internet and dresses and lipsticks and all like, you think anybody gonna say nothing? Exactly. And now somebody got to be gay because they said something about it. Mm -hmm. Just like Lil Nas X, mm -hmm. when you see this man, that doesn't, that look, you, that doesn't normalize for us 100 types. Well, that ain't normal. We ain't gonna never accept that as normal. It's always gonna be looked at the way it's looked at and we gonna speak on it. Even though they trying to write laws where we can't even speak on it. Yeah. They be ready to take your show off the air for simply opening your mouth about it. Them people ain't right. And Gabrielle, you ain't right for having problems with the backlash we're having a little boy dressed like he dressed. The mama got an issue with it. Did you hear that, Gabrielle? The mama of the little boy got an issue with it. Who are you? All right. So Corey Holcomb has asked Gabrielle, who are you? If the mother has a problem with it, then who are you to say anything different? And furthermore, do you think that Corey Holcomb was correct? Do you think that Corey Holcomb was correct when he said that uh, the 100, which means heterosexual men, traditional men, would never think that a man dressed in women's clothing and lipstick or whatever, or even a boy in girls' clothing with lipstick and all this and carrying a person would be normal? Do you think that the way little Nas X carry himself, that a heterosexual man would ever think that to be normal? So he was saying that the 100s would never think that to be normal and that if you put it out there, then people are definitely going to be speaking on it. Me, myself, personally... And this is my personal opinion. I, I agree with him. I've said that before about the Crayolas. I said that once you par part of the protective class, you are going to be scrutinized. You're going to be talked about like everybody else. People talk about white people. People talk about um, black people. People talk about gay people. And, and now we're being censored uh, talking about the Jewish community. But they're going to be sitting up there involved in, in, in a minute. People are going to have to get used to being talked about. And that's the particular problem that... People in particular classes or communities think that they're untouchable to be speak, um, be talked about. One of the things that I want to talk about in this particular case with Gabrielle Union and Lil Boosie, I find it to be very ironic that women, or particularly black women who support the LGBT, black women who support the LGBT go so hard for these people, and these people do not have your best interest. They want to be you, especially the transgenders and things of that nature, and I'm just keeping it a buck. However, uh, and I, I'm not one of them. I'm just one of the ones that you can ha you have a right to live the way you want to live. Just don't force your stuff on me, and I won't force my stuff on you. But what I do believe, and, and people say that's separate but equal, like back in the 60s. Well, it is. This is how I feel. 
and and I'm not and I'm not going to let nobody tell me I'm homophobic. I was raised in a certain era of life, and that's just the way I am. And I'm not going to try to change my life or my beliefs. You know what I mean? Now I have people in my family that's part of the Creole, and I love them dearly. And I will be there and do anything for them, and I don't want them hurt or anything else. And I tell them to be careful, just like they tell me to be careful. Things of that nature. But what I want to say is this. You cannot sit up there and act as if you are part and a heavy supporter of the Crayola when you turn around and use and say that to a heterosexual man and claiming that he must want to be a Crayola. In other words, I am so sick of people doing this. I'm so people, sick of people calling you homophobic because you won't accept somebody gay or you have different beliefs or all this type of stuff. But turn around and tell you, well, you must be gay because you don't accept it. And then they make it as a weapon against a person that is traditional or heterosexual, like Boosie. So you use being gay as a a weapon to slander Boosie, knowing that he's a heterosexual man because he chimed in on your uh, Crayola son, daughter. All right. So that there is, is something I think that is something we all as a community need to speak about. Please leave a comment below on what your take is on all of this. Okay. Little Boosie, Gabrielle, Corey Holcomb, who you think is right. Leave a comment. This is for you to discuss. These are the type of things in a community, even on spin fire that you need to talk about. All right. In the meantime, between time, like, share, and subscribe to the video. If you'd like to support the channel, you can always cash out Spit and Fire. And make sure you join. It's only $2.99 a month, okay? There's no tears, just $2.99 a month. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm your girl, Spit and Fire. All right, fire out.